Hello, and welcome to Personal Finance with Mr. Slomka. I am Ryan Slomka, and I'm going to be the new personal finance teacher this year. Uh, my email address is right there on the screen, as well as our room number for when we return to Stony Creek High School. Here's a little bit about me. I have been a math teacher at Stony Creek High School for about 30, uh, 13 years. I usually teach algebra or geometry or pre-calculus. Uh, this year I am introducing um, personal finance and sociology to my repertoire. So I'm excited to kind of work in those new fields that I haven't spent time in before. Um, some things about me personally is I, I really enjoy racing bikes. I like fixing things. I like people watching and I exploring with my kids. Uh, in this picture right here, you can see my daughter Sophie and my son Shepard, and we are exploring some hair gel. I'm also the club sponsor for the Ski and Snowboard Club, but we won't be running that club this year. See you next year. Let's talk about class structure. So class structure for personal finance. What we're going to do is we're going to start off each of our classes with a, a lesson. And that lesson right now is going to be a video lesson. So as soon as class time starts, we're going to watch those video lessons. Then after the time is required for that lesson is going to pass, then we're going to come together in small groups so we can collaborate, discuss, and explore. So now uh, with that term personal finance, I'm going to put a large emphasis on the personal part. Uh, it is very, very different for each person, the way that they view their finances and what they think is safe and what they think is risky. So I want to make sure that there's time for the kids to discuss, process, and think about what is valuable to them, what is valuable to their family, and what is valuable to their, their social network so they can make those personal choices. I will teach them all of the vocab and calculations and general ideas in our lessons that we have at the beginning of the hour, but it is also extremely important to get those personal parts in as well. And that's where the small group is really gonna pay off. Towards the end of the hour, we'll always have time for homework or projects, review and reteaching as well, just to make sure that the students can take care of um, as much of that kind of stuff during our class time as possible so that they don't have to do it at other times during the day. Here's our grading. Our grading is gonna look a little bit differently. If you're a repeat customer, if you've had a Mr. Slomka class before, you'll notice that this grading is quite different. So right here, what we have is we have assignments, which are gonna be 25% of our grade, that includes homework assessments, which are going to be 40% of our grades, and typically that's going to be quizzes. And then we're going to have projects, projects and presentations, which are going to be 35% of our grade. So a typical math class that I teach is going to be standards-based. This personal finance class is not standards-based right now. And so uh, we're going to be breaking it down so that those homework assignments are going to benefit you and those projects and presentations are going to benefit you as well. So I think that there's a large portion of the grade right here, which you are in full control of or your student is in full control of, and then get really nice high scores from those. If you want more information about this kind of grading, uh, you can find the syllabus for our course on Parent View. Extra help. Personal finance is uh, a very different type of subject. So for if any particular reason there's something that is confusing or strange, or if uh, your student wants to talk about their project, or if they just want to talk about the way that the course is flowing and see if they can offer some suggestions, I'm always open and ready to communicate. Uh, we have support times that are built into our schedules on Mondays and Fridays from two to three, and I'd be happy to meet with uh, any of the students. And we also have Wednesday, which is a whole day that is usually devoted to uh, supports. And I, my afternoons are empty and my mornings are filled with some uh, more uh, professional meetings. So I'd be happy to set up an appointment for Wednesdays as well. My email address is right there on the screen. I have another email address, which is at rcs-k12. And uh, that one is only really a dump for the Google Classroom materials. So I don't usually respond to emails that show up there because I don't visit it as often. So if you want to get in hold of me, make sure you're reaching out to this email address. I'm really excited to work in personal finance. I'm really excited to kind of experience some of the freedom that the course provides and some of the new and dynamic things that are gonna be involved with it. If you have an idea of some things that you would like me to highlight in personal finance, I would love to hear them because I want this course to be as connected to people's lives as possible um, so that it doesn't just seem like some detached block of information that won't be very beneficial. I want this course to seem beneficial on a daily basis. Thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon.